Good morning Aries, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles, my name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. This week we're going to focus on what it is that you should know about this connection. So you have a connection to someone and, you, and you're coming in for messages, okay. We're going to go freestyle with this. And I feel like working with the Wild Unknown Tarot decks today. I'm working with the Tarot and the Archetype Oracle deck. We're going to kickstart this reading using the Archetype deck. I read intuitively, guys. So um, if the messages are hitting for you, are speaking to you, if you're getting something out of this reading, then be sure to hit that like button to let me know. If you're looking for something a little more personal, then um, a personal and private reading is where it's at, you guys. Uh, all the details on how to work with me is in the show more section below. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I am also over on Instagram. Uh, the reason why I mention that is because I do offer monthly generals over there. If that's something you're a tiny little bit curious about, then check it out. There is. Okay, so what is it that you should know about this connection? You've got the Seed, the Mystic, and Eros. Okay, I do have to say here, Aries, that this, there's something very unique and special about this connection. I'm seeing a pearl and I'm seeing a diamond, okay? Now, for some of you, you're looking at this person and you know that they are the one for you. Or perhaps this person feels that you are the one for them. Okay. There's something very rare and unique about this connection. I feel with the with Eros here, as you can see, we can see uh, a woman. She's got a diamond pursed in between her lips. And I feel that this person treats you like a diamond, treats you like a rarity. There's something, yeah, very rare and special about this person, about this connection that's very unique. For some of you, I, I see a proposal or an engagement on the cards, okay? For others of you, I feel that there is a beautiful gift coming your way. I do feel with the seed here that there is going to be some kind of an offering coming in. The seed speaks to potential and I really do feel that this connection has a lot of potential. Okay. Um, I feel it's very much in the fertile stages. With the mystic here, I see like a butterfly and the butterfly to me speaks of transformation. I really do feel, Aries, that this person that you have a connection to is going to help you transform to be the best version of yourselves. Okay, or there's something about this connection. You both, you both have something unique to offer each other. And it's like one of you is coming in with this pearl. One of you is coming in with this diamond. And in the middle is this beautiful butterfly, which symbolizes transformation and change. And I really do feel that you guys, you and this individual, have skills or experience or knowledge to help each other evolve. I really do see this connection um, going to greater heights or grading, going to another level. I really do feel this. I feel for some of you, Aries, if you have kissed this person, then then you know, then you know, there's something magical about the kiss. Okay, you felt the connection the moment you guys kissed. Okay, there's an electricity here with your kiss. Or this person wants to come in and kiss you. I do feel for some of you that this is someone, 
I'm speaking to Aries out there. For some of you, you've just recently met this person. And you're wanting to take it to the next level and perhaps, you know, kiss them. There's something about the lips here. Hmm. This person could have blue eyes for some of you. Let's see what the tarot. Oh, look at this, Ace of Wands. So I really do get the sense for some of you that this is someone new coming in. Okay, there's a lot of electricity in this connection. There's a lot of sexual passion or passion or chemistry here. Um, this is a highly energetic connection or a highly inspirational connection. I just feel that you both inspire each other to be the best versions of yourselves when you're together, I feel like the vibes are high. One of you, and if not both of you, are both feeling inspired to take action. Okay, but I do see a lot of electricity uh, between the two of you. There's a lot of electricity and passion and chemistry between the two of you. Okay, this one wants to come through. Um, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords to me speaks of fears. So one of you has fears or struggles with maybe anxiety or depression or insomnia. Someone may have or experience insomnia here. But I feel the other one can help the other with this. Okay, so there's someone here that has this Nine of Swords energy. And with the mystic in the middle here, it's like this person can help you overcome these fears. Or is inspiring the other to overcome self-doubt. If one of you is experiencing insecurity, it's like with the mystic here, this is about overcoming those insecurities. But it's like the other person can help you overcome the insecurities. Or if they are the ones with the insecurities, it's like you can help them transform those insecurities. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I, I do feel that one of you here has limiting uh, beliefs. To me, the Eight of Swords speaks to a limitation in the belief system, the way one thinks. And I feel the way one thinks is blocking or limiting one's potential. Now, it could be that one of you is blocking the potential of this connection to go to greater heights because of one's insecurities. Okay. Uh, someone may be a little closed off here as well. But again, I feel it's because of these Nine of Swords. We've got the Five of Swords, that, uh, sorry, the Five of Pentacles that showed itself. And I don't know, this one, yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay, I'll take it. At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that someone here in this connection strongly wants um, some kind of commitment or stability here wants to you know two of cups wants to take this to the next level which is um let's partner up you know let's come together let's let's be boyfriend let's be girlfriend let's see each other exclusively here i do feel that there is an offer to maybe go exclusive or again this could be a strong proposal for some of you. Okay, I just get proposal, marriage, 
especially with that diamond and that pearl here. But someone here may feel in this connection that that's not possible or it isn't going to happen. Yeah, I just get with the five of pentacles here that someone's thinking it's never going to happen. Am I ever going to marry this person? Um, is this person ever going to propose to me? Will we have the financial means to cover something like a marriage or a engagement? Five of Pentacles speaks to a lack. So there's definitely someone here that lacks something within. But I feel with the Nine of Wands here that this person or both of you as a couple can definitely overcome this because we do have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands to me, it's like a staircase that is ascending. Now, because this is on top of these, the two most lack, lacking cards here, um, or lacking thoughts, I definitely feel this is thoughts or beliefs, worries, insecurities that can be overcome. Now, with this staircase, it is about taking one step at a time or one day at a time. But eventually you end up getting there, okay? Or this connection will eventually overcome these fear-based thoughts. With the Five of Pentacles, this can speak to someone feeling left out in the cold, now, one of you in this connection is feeling maybe shut out by the other or is possibly feeling like they're not good enough for the other. But I do want to say here, Aries, with the Nine of Wands is to not give up on this connection because I really do feel that whatever the current situation, you'd... I definitely feel it's something that you can both overcome together. With the uh, Two of Cups here, I definitely feel that, guys. I definitely do. It's just about communication. Okay, Two of Cups coming together and opening hearts, having an open-hearted conversation. Ace of Pentacles is, you know, let's seriously talk about this. Let's seriously talk about our dynamic. Let's seriously talk about our relationship. Let's seriously talk about the future. So they're your messages, Aries. Hopefully this was helpful and insightful. And until next time, take care.